Good evening, motherfuckers and motherfuckers. Welcome to another edition of Get Ready to Get Your Jaw Tight. It's your girl, Keisha Green. Mimi Universe, what's happening? Facebook Universe, what's happening? We're going to do a special show today. We're going to talk about snakes. Anybody could be a snake. No one is exempt. And then some of y'all are snakes by generation. Some of y'all ancestors were fucking snakes. Yeah, during the slave trade. Some of your ancestors were snakes. So for y'all, some of y'all, majority of y'all, it's genetic. Yeah, your, your ancestor Rufus P. Lickernipple was a snake. He was the motherfucker telling on all the other slaves, getting them in trouble so he could stay in the house with master. Yeah, a kiss-ass nigga. But for the most part, I'm going to talk about that, but I'm going to talk about a situation where I had snakes in my camp. Three of them. I had three of them. But we're going to talk about it for the most part. Now, some of y'all know these people. Don't mean y'all no good. Grandma don't like them. Grandpa don't rock with them. Mom and dad don't fuck with them. But y'all still choose to hang around them anyway. And y'all don't really, and then y'all realizing, grandma saying, is something, right, something not right about her? Something not right about him? I don't like their spirit. But some of y'all keep them around anyway until shit get real. And then it's like, oh, I should have listened to grandma. I should have listened to grandpa. Grandma knew this nigga was a snake from the jump before she met him. And then some of you women keep them around because they got good dick. Some of you niggas keep them around because they got good pussy and fire head. And she fucking about 10 of your homeboys. So that's 11 snakes in your camp, bitch. Yeah, I'm talking to you niggas. Always trying to get over on people. And no one is exempt. They even try to get over on family members and try to beat family members out of money. You know, just snakes. And then some of y'all are snakes and don't get shit out of it. You snaking for free. What the fuck kind of shit is that? Jante, you gonna be a goddamn snake. Get some the fuck out of it. Don't be snaking for free. Jante, motherfucker. Shit, if I'm gonna be a snake, I'm gonna get some the fuck out of it. I don't care if it's money, food, housing, a car. I'm gonna get some the fuck out of it. Nobody snakes for free. Gas money, rent money, something. Jante, some of you motherfuckers are snaking for free. And then some of y'all slow snaking. <laughs> yeah, reverse snaking and shit. Talking about. That bitch owe me $500, but I'm going to take the little $50 in food stamps that she gave me, and I'm going to offset the cost of that from my $500. No, bitch, I want my $500 up front. I don't want no payments. I don't want no slow payments. This ain't buy here, pay here, bitch. Give me my money. Run me my money. Jante! No, nah, some of you motherfuckers snaking for free and shit, snaking for the low. Like, what the fuck? And you a snake? Who trained you to be a snake? Now, we're going to look at some of y'all family members real quick. Some of y'all mamas and daddies was fucking snakes. And then on top of that, y'all be in the neighborhood, it be like, oh, you talking about Miss Smith and them? Yeah, that bitch beat my dad out of $20. Sold my dad a dime bag of weed for a 20 Yeah, I know that bitch. And then be upset. Get your ass beat. It's never y'all fault. It's everybody's fault but yours. Oh, they just hating. They just don't like me. No, bitch, you're a snake. We're not supposed to like you. And then some of y'all secret snakes. What the fuck is up with that secret snake shit? If you gonna be a snake, be out in the open with that shit. Don't be fucking smiling and laughing in my face and then snaking. Yeah, she did it. It was her. Yeah, she did it. Hey, Keisha, how you doing? What's up, girl? Girl, somebody called my parole officer on me. Oh, that's fucked up. No, and goddamn well your ass did it. You sitting up here snaking in secret. Bitch, if you gonna call somebody, somebody give your goddamn name. Snake out in the open. Fuck that secret snake shit. Snake out in the fucking open. Don't smile and laugh in a bitch face. Snake out in the open. For real. And some of y'all... Be lying for motherfuckers. That's another form of snaking. Some of you bitches right now know your sister kid's father fucking the male lady. And you bitches is providing a house for them to fuck in. Yeah, I'm talking about y'all. 
just like some of you niggas trying to fuck your homeboy wife on the low. Snake ass niggas. Hey, what's up, Craig? How you doing? Dang, I got a donk. What you say, nigga? Nothing. I was just saying, you know, I love your crib. No, nigga, that's not what the fuck you said. You said Belinda got a donk. Dante! Motherfucker. Some of y'all be snaking on the low. Fuck that snake out in the open. Be real with that shit. Craig, your wife got a donk. Be real with that shit. Don't snake out in the fucking open. And then y'all go to motherfuckers, be talking shit about bitches, and then go right back. Who said that shit? That's fucked up. Motherfuckers be, hey, no, bitch, you're the hater. You're the snitch. So some of y'all got snakes in y'all camp right now. <laughs> Grandma done told you, I don't like her spirit. I don't like his spirit. Some not right about him. Some not right about her. Y'all still fucking with him. Y'all still holding on to him. Snaking out in the open. That's how you do that shit for real. Don't snake. Don't. And then another thing. Y'all be snaking on Facebook. Keyboard warriors and shit. Facebook gangsters. Facebook mafia. Instagram pimps. And then come in that same bitch face. Oh, girl, I saw that post. And some of you motherfuckers got two and three accounts and be talking shit about bitches snaking. And some of you bitches right now trying to fuck your homegirl husband on the low. Yeah. Slippery cock bitches. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Hey, David, how you doing? I just wanted to tell you, you look nice today. Bitch, David look nice every day. Get to the point. Snake out in the open, bitch. Yeah, I'm talking to y'all. Secret snakes. Fakes. Posers. Yeah, backstabbers. Scamming. And shit. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all know who y'all is. Yeah. Some of y'all got snakes in y'all camp right now. Some of y'all got snakes in y'all family. Some of y'all got snakes in your co-worker. My next subject I want to talk about today, the BFF to the side chick. Now, this chick, I feel sorry for this chick because this chick ain't never attractive, ain't never got shit going for herself, ain't getting no dick, ain't getting no money, but want to provide the place for you and a married nigga to get together at. Don't never get no money from it. They smashing in your apartment. Bitch, ain't no apartment, ain't no gas gonna pay for itself. I ain't gonna lie. I would be the worst best friend to a side chick because I'm going to charge you for everything. Bitch, you want condoms? $3. You want to use my room? $50 for $30, 100 for an hour, 200 for 2 bitch. Run me my money. Fuck that. My apartment ain't going to run itself, bitch. You fucking with that nigga? You tricking, sucking, and fucking? Run me my money. Because I'm sure somewhere down the line, you getting some money off this nigga. Pay me. Fuck that. I'm like the IRS. I want my shit up front. I ain't trying to hear, oh, he don't get paid till Friday. Guess what, bitch? You ain't got no spot. Oh, y'all want something to eat? Large plate, $10. Medium, 7 Small, 5 Yeah, you want soda? Day soda? A dollar. Fuck that. You out here sucking and fucking getting money off of him? I might as well get paid, too. I'm the BFF to your punk ass. Yeah, talking about you bitches. And the thing about it is, why do y'all do shit like that? You know damn well, as soon as this bitch get mad, she gonna run her mouth. She gonna tell everybody that's gonna listen. As a matter of fact, she's gonna provide the tape to the wife and a copy of the text messages to help the wife in her divorce. So when she divorced that no good ass nigga, guess what? Your little luxury life is done, sweetheart. Kiss that bread goodbye. Because she get half. And all you going to have is enough for a SEPTA bus pass if you in Philly. If you in D.C., WMTA. Okay. Motherfuckers. So y'all need to stop that shit. And a word from my lovely sponsors. Product promotion. Today, Grindstone for Life. Autograph copy, direct $20. Amazon copy, $16.99. Kindle copy, $4.99. Create space, $4.99.
Hot Body Silk Organic Skin Care, Healing Volcano Salt Blend, detoxifies your skin and body and system for $15.99. And the Cleopatra Silk Blend Silk and preserves your skin for $15.99. You can direct contact us at Hood to Hood Station for direct sales. Discover the silk in your skin. And don't forget Queen Chamez and Hair. Again, she got that raw Indian. Check out her Facebook page, Amazing Page. Three bundles for $1.99. And don't forget to ask about her daily specials and, and package deals. She'll customize something for you. And she also does custom color. Check that queen out. Her hair's the truth. So anyway, back to you friends of side chicks. You bitches don't never get paid. You at the bottom of the totem pole, baby. She sucking and fucking this married nigga. And you sitting there with a dry pussy, dry mouth, porn hubbing yourself to death. While he banging her back out. Jante! That's why I said, couldn't be me. Because I charge you for every goddamn thing. Run me my money, bitch. Oh, you ain't got no money? And guess what? I'm going to charge a hush fee. Bitch, you want me to hush? I need money. I got to get paid. I got kids. You bitches. Yeah, girl, you can use my apartment. I'm going to run out real quick. Stop letting these pretty bitches use y'all. Stop that shit. Stop letting these pretty bitches suck at y'all. Same thing for you niggas. Why is it it's always y'all unattractive niggas and bitches that provide places to stay for these side chicks and side niggas? And some of y'all side chicks and side niggas by genetics because some of y'all mammies were side chicks. How you think she met your daddy? And I bet you some of y'all got your mama last name. Anyway, so you side chick, you best friends to side chicks, y'all better stop that shit. And you side chicks need to stop using these chicks' apartments because guess what? As soon as y'all fall out, it's on Facebook, it's going to be on Instagram, it's going to be on Twitter, and it's going to be on LinkedIn, and she going to Facebook message the wife. Yeah. So, obviously, you side chicks ain't that bright. Jaw tight. But I want to share a situation. You know, I had some snakes in my camp. I had three of them. I was dating this guy named Ricardo. He was friends with a girl named Casey. Now, Casey, she wasn't never my friend. She wasn't even an associate. She didn't even rank. As a, To be honest with you, she was the bottom of the totem pole. Now, I was in treatment with this sewage diva. Okay. We already knew she was a snake. You know, my homegirl Paula... My homegirl, Mary Jo, rest in peace. My homegirl, Janet. We all said the same thing, but in different ways. It's something I write about her. I don't like her spirit. Now, this bitch was a snake. You know these motherfuckers be snakes when they own family don't fuck with them. You know a motherfucker a snake when grandma and grandpa don't fuck with you. It's usually the parents don't fuck with you, but grandma and grandpa don't fuck with you. Aunt and uncle don't fuck with you? So that should tell you something right there. They done beat their family out of money. Slept with their dad's brother and shit. There's some fucked up shit that the family just don't rock with them. Okay, make a long story short. Yeah, her never exactly got along. I didn't like her. She ain't like me. Cool. Mother find you, mother fuck you. So anyway. You know somebody fucked up when your counselor's talking about you. The counselor even said, I don't like her. She throws off the aura in this place. Lied about how much clean time she got. Tried to dope fiend the system to get housing. Yeah, bitch, I'm talking about your ass. So, Ricardo befriends her against my better advice. And I told him, I said, Rick, there's something about her that don't sit right with me. I said, you don't see something wrong with the fact that nobody in her family fucks with her. Her brother don't fuck with her. Her sister don't fuck with her. Uncles don't fuck with her. Cousins don't fuck with her. The antiques in the house don't fuck with her. You don't see something wrong with that? His excuse was, oh, well, Keisha, we all in recovery. You got to give everybody a chance. I said, I ain't got to give shit. I'm from the streets. I know grimy when I see it and when I smell it. She gave off grimy. Okay, so we're going to talk about they ass real quick. They can't became friends or whatever. He started getting high with her. You know, one thing led to another. 
supposedly they only had sex one time when me and him wasn't together. I'm a woman. I know goddamn well y'all had sex more than once. I read body language. And I read that bitch's body language. And I read his. So I said, okay, y'all had sex more than once. I'm a monkey's fucking uncle. I got a dick on my forehead. I got a motherfucking bridge to sell you. Ben Franklin, bitch. So, none and behold. Okay, he kept lying, kept getting high, kept dope fiending. Okay, we gonna rock out with that. We gonna call this nigga the Lion King. Lying King. Every time you turned around, this nigga and this bitch was lying. But she always had issues with me. But she never addressed me directly. So I want to say to you men, if you got a female friend, you need to let this bitch know where her, where her lane is at. There's no reason why, as a female friend, she should be swerving in the girlfriend lane. Because your girl is your girl, your female friend is your female friend. She need to know her goddamn place. Same thing for you, same thing for you niggas. If your girlfriend got a friend that's always in your business, swerving in your lane, giving fucking advice and shit, or how y'all should run your relationship, you need to ask yourself, how the fuck they know? How the fuck you know how he like his food season? How the fuck you know if he, how she like her food season? How the fuck you know that? What the fuck is going on between y'all or went on between y'all that I need to know about or I don't know about? Watch that body language. That body language tells everything. So, he got high with her. Slept with her one time. So, we had a situation about some pictures. This nigga so smart, he dumb. He up took pictures of the girl Casey in her bra and panties naked, smoking a cigarette, laying across her bed. Had pictures and videos of him kissing on a bitch named Brittany in a bar. Uploads the videos to his phone, but forgot that the phone was linked up to OneDrive. I got all the OneDrives linked up to the phones and to my laptop. So whatever he uploads, it comes over to my laptop. Thanks to my 12-year-old son, DJ, for setting that up. Mommy loves you, baby. Keep doing what you do. So I see these pictures. I ask him about these pictures. Oh, it's nothing to worry about, Keisha. Nothing happened. We're just friends. Friends, my ass. I said, if I take pictures in my bra and panties, naked, laying across a nigga bed, he getting this pussy. Who you playing with? <laughs> Y'all take. For real. Oh, no, we just friends. And then you kissing on a bitch in a bar. Now, mind you, we're supposed to be in recovery. We're supposed to stay away from people, places, and things. Not this nigga. So, I said to him, I'm going to tell you something. I've been around enough men been around enough women, been around the modeling game, been around the adult entertainment industry. I said, trust me, if I take them kind of pictures at 12, 11 a.m., best believe we fucking afterwards. And I might want him to hold me afterwards. But after 12 o'clock, I'm getting long dick affection. Mm. Who you playing with? So, okay, he called himself still trying to lie. I kindly called Microsoft OneDrive, spoke to a young man named Talib. Thank you, Talib and OneDrive, Microsoft. Love you, boy. So Talib gets on the phone, and he says, Sir, you're lying. There's no way you couldn't have known that those pictures were going to upload from that phone to the laptop. You guys are on AT&T, right? So we've partnered with Microsoft OneDrive. Anything you upload automatically is going to forward over to the laptop. And Talib said in a nice way, Sir, you're a damn lie. You're a damn lie. Talib made him look bad. Okay. Talking about, I ain't know them pictures, them pictures old. Them pictures ain't fucking old. And then they after 12 midnight, between the hours of 12 midnight and 3 a.m., those are fucking hours. Those are not cuddling hours. Those are fucking hours. <laughs> For real. Them fucking hours. Ain't nobody trying to cuddle. Ain't nobody trying to kiss. We trying to nut and go to sleep. Fuck that. Anyway, so you know me, Keisha, Savage. I put all this shit outside in front of the uh, Pico substation in Newtown Square. Videotaped that shit. Mind you, the video got 2,500 hits. 
called their name out, put their name out there. Embarrassed the fuck out of him and her. So I said something to this bitch. This bitch called herself trying to be tough Tony. I said, bitch, chill that shit the fuck out. You from Chad's Ford. I ain't heard of no motherfucking gangsters coming from no Chad's Ford. You a keyboard warrior. All right, Facebook mafia. Say that shit to my face. So the other player in this is the girl Lena. Again, best friend to the side chick. She knew what was going on between Casey and Rick. So let me tell you about this garbage pale kid. She smiled and laughed in my face, knew what was going on, possibly provided the roof for them to fuck under. And this bitch still giving me shit to this day because she feels so guilty because she knew what happened. You know me. I'm Keisha. I'm going to take that shit if I like it. That bitch going to go broke trying to repay that guilt. A guilty conscience is a motherfucker to have. So I had snakes in my camp. I had three of them. Where I'm from, I'm from Philly. I'm from North Philly. We don't play that shit. I kindly had my lock and sock ready on some penitentiary shit. I was going to beat the shit out of all of them with that lock and sock like we on state rule, like we in pick. Like we in Muncie. Call the cops and wait for them. But I said, no, we're not going to do that because I like my freedom and I can't be in jail because dick ain't running free. So I can't fuck with jail. I don't like my toilet connected to my sink. So it's nothing that I could do to these simple Simon ass niggas that life is not already doing. And a word from our lovely sponsors. All right, we're going to line up the shows. We got Tuesday Hood View with my girl Kitaya Glenn, 9 p.m. on YouTube. The Suck It Easy Report, Mob Life. Wednesday, get ready to get your jaw tight with me, Keisha Green, Facebook Live, and Hood the Hood Station on YouTube and Mimi TV. Thursday, hang chill and grub with Akil Ali and his show reviewing bars, clubs, and karaoke. Yo shit better be tight, fuck it with Akil Ali. <laughs> That's like the health inspector. <laughs> he rates you on how clean your shit is to the taste of your food. He one of the people that will come in the kitchen and ask for the cook and be like, excuse me, why is this bland? This is not supposed to be bland. What's up with this? No shit better be right. Fuck it with you. And again, don't forget, Roast Them is coming back to SoundCloud, Podbean, with new guests in two weeks. Sunday, the Akil Ali show with Akil Ali, Lady Raven. Lovely young lady. Facebook Live, Akil Bashir, page 7 and 8. And the Hood News Report at Hood the Hood Station, Mimi TV, YouTube with Casey Glenn and Destiny Gamble. Now, I want to talk about the fight between Mrs. X and Angie Cartagena. Woo! I don't want no parts of that. That's too much crazy for me. I have a limit. There's limits to this crazy shit. Them two exceed the goddamn limits. I can't fuck with them two. They exceed the limits of my medication. I don't want no parts of that. I'm just going to watch. That's all I'm going to do. I ain't fucking with that. Not at all. I ain't fucking with that. You know, Mrs. X, nice lady. Whoo, that lady don't take no mess. I can't fuck with her. Mm -mm -mm. Carter Hanger. I don't understand shit she be saying, but she a nice lady, though. I don't understand shit she be talking about. But anyway, back to my snakes and fakes. So, the end, of, the aftermath of that story is, is nothing you could do to motherfuckers that life is not doing to them. Let's look at their situations. The boy Ricardo possibly relapses high down in Kensington, Philadelphia, on the run from both Delaware County and Chester County. The girl Casey back in treatment for the second time this year. And the girl Lena living under me in the same house. And got to see my smiling face every day. Chante! Ain't that a bitch. And I smile a lot. Chante! Yeah. Thought y'all had Keisha, huh? Thought y'all was slick. What you been out say? Thought you was slick, huh? You ain't that slick, motherfuckers. So I just want to say to y'all, just be mindful of who you hang out with. Everybody that hang with you ain't your friend. Some of your family is snakes. Yeah. Some of y'all family is snakes. Some of y'all friends are snakes. And to you bitches that's best friend to side chicks, y'all need to get paid. 
Fuck that. Stop letting them capitalize on y'all being ugly. Y'all need money. <laughs> Ain't no apartment go pay itself. Ain't Dante. no bills go pay itself, bitch. Get paid. Dante. Same thing for you niggas. And some of you niggas right now is so grimy. Satan don't even want y'all in hell. <laughs> Satan like, damn. And I thought I was grimy. I don't want that nigga down here. No, he need to stay on earth a little bit more. Keep his ass. Yeah. Talking about you motherfuckers. Satan don't even fuck with y'all. You got to know something wrong with a motherfucker when they family don't fuck with them. It's never their fault. It's everybody's fault but theirs. It's the system fault. My mother didn't hug me enough when I was a baby. My, my daddy wasn't around. Shit, your daddy was around because he too busy slithering and snaking. Beating people like they money. Grandma and grandpa is snakes. <laughs> so some of y'all snakes by DNA. <laughs> some of your ancestors were snakes. Yes sir, yes sir, master. It was Bobby Joe. Bobby Joe let the hoes out. John types. No chance, nigga. I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. And you wonder why your fucking generation cursed. <laughs> Bobby Joe Tucker was a snake. Fuck <laughs> Y'all wonder why the fuck you cursed. Why everybody wanna beat your ass. Three generations later, and motherfuckers are still whipping your ass. Thank Bobby Joe Tucker for that shit. John Tate. Bobby Joe Tucker fucked y'all life all up. And some of you bitches wanted, some of you bitches and niggas had the nerve to talk about Carmelo Anthony not having a ring. Half your mothers ain't got rings. Yeah, let's talk about that. Why your mammy ain't got a ring? John Tate. Been a side chick for 30 goddamn years. <laughs> And still ain't got a ring. This bitch got a promise ring from 1971. Side chicken like a motherfucker. That hoe wrote the book on side chicken. She the professor at side chick university. Talking about David. I've been with you for 30 years. When you gonna leave her? Never. It's cheaper to keep her. David ain't no fool. But remember. When you graduate, somebody got to fill that position. And there's always a side chick willing to fill that position. Trutch said it best. I do my dirt all by my lonely. Because I ain't going to tell on myself. I would look crazy telling on myself. You bitches is retarded going over your best friend's house. Knowing she not the most attractive bitch. You going over this bitch house so when this bitch get mad, she could tell on you. And help the wife get that money in the divorce. Get the two trucks, the two cars. Only leave you enough for a monthly bus pass. Some of you niggas is side dudes by genetics. Your father was a side nigga. Fucking with the pastor wife. Jenny, when you gonna leave the pastor? Never! I just said that shit to get the dick. I don't want you, nigga. I'm just fucking you Y'all funny. Secret snakes. I'm going to close the night on this note. Listen here. For you BFFs or the side chicks, get your fucking mind right. Get your coins, baby. Stop letting these side chicks bust the nuts and fring, swing from the chandelier in your place for free. Fuck that. You want to swing from the chandelier? Run me my money, bitch. And got the nerve to brag to you. How much money she got from this dude? You sitting there with a dry mouth, dry pussy, porn hubbing yourself to death and can't get paid. Well, well, well. <laughs> As Ron Osley would say, I'm going to close the night. Always remember, Mimi Universe, Facebook Universe, keep your grass cut so you can watch the snakes. Okay? Always keep your grass cut so you can watch the snakes. Watch out for the fuck boys and the fuck girls. Y'all be easy. Facebook Universe, Mimi Universe, good night.